Hello everyone, I am Rishabh Nath. I am a final year student of University of Kalyani, Department of Statistics. This project is about prediction of house price using multiple linear regression. I have done this project with my classmates and they are Bhaskar Balri, Ankita Bose, Riday Ranjan De, Sinashish Mukherjee and Shoripat Basu. The Barment animation and voiceover is done by me. Accurate prediction on the house price is important to house owners, developers, investors, tax assessors, etc. Earlier, house price prediction was based on cost and sales price comparisons. Thanks to data. Now we have more information of houses, and with the help of statistics, we can do a comprehensive study. Now we know that among many other factors, House price depends on locality, area of the house, availability of goods and services, etc. All these factors helps us to predict house price accurately. Our dataset is collected from Kaggle. We have 21 variables and 21,613 observations. The dataset contains information about houses sold between May 2014 to May 2015 at King County, Washington. We have divided the dataset into three parts, training, validation, and test. There are no missing values. We encountered seven anomalies and three influential points. We deleted them from our dataset. Now let us briefly discuss about the variables. Here we have ID of the house, date of sale, price of the house, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, area of the house, area of the lot, etc. We do not need all these variables as some of them might not be useful for prediction. So we scrap them. These variables will be useless to us. Our objective is to predict price of house based on the selected variable. Let us analyze some of the variables from our dataset. Price. Price of the house. Numerical continuous variable. The distribution of the variable is heavily skewed with a long tail to the right. This is not very surprising though, because while majority of the houses will have a price which is relatively low, but there will be some properties which are very expensive. Square foot living, the area of the house, numeric continuous variable. The distribution of this variable is not well spread and is highly skewed. It has a long tail at the right end, the median area being 1910 square feet and the average area is 2087 square feet. Bedrooms The number of bedrooms in the house, numeric discrete variable. The distribution of this variable is highly skewed and has a long tail on the right side. Most of the values lie between 3 and 4. However, some of the observations are a bit suspicious as we have encountered houses with zero bedrooms and 33 bedrooms. On further analysis, we came up with six houses with zero bedrooms. These observations might be anomalies. Gray. It indicates the type of the house, numeric discrete variable. The distribution is moderately skewed. Most of the houses are of grade 7 and grade 8, which is 69% of the houses, out of which 49% of the houses are of grade 7 alone. Square feet above. It indicates the square footage of the interior housing space that is above ground level. Numeric continuous variable. The distribution of square feet above of the house are highly skewed with a long tail towards the right direction. 75% of the houses have interior area less than 2230 square feet. Let us come to the most exciting part, model building. Initially, we eliminated all those variables which seemed unnecessary to us. The response variable in this model is price. All the other selected variables are explanatory. We fitted a linear model using these variables. The R square of this model was 0.614. The results aren't very satisfying. We took log transformation of price and log transformation of all the continuous explanatory variables. 
This would help us to reduce the scale of those variables. Also, the variables which were slightly deviated from linearity became more linear. We did not take log of square foot basement because almost 60% of the houses do not have basement. The value of square foot basement of those houses are given as zero. We fitted a linear regression model using these variables. The R square fell to 0 0.610. Since the R square did not improve, we thought of experimenting. Bedrooms and bathrooms are important features to determine the price of the house. Squaring them would amplify their values and might help us to explain price. We have also taken bedroom times bathroom and rate times condition. We fitted a linear regression model and checked the R square. The R square value did not change much. None of the previous models were providing us with good results. So we decided to dive deep into the dataset. We constructed a new variable age of the house by subtracting the variable year of sale and year of build. We have also considered converting square foot basement into a binary variable, that is, the presence or absence of basement in a house. Keeping all the other variables similar to model 2, we fitted a linear regression model. The R squared increased to 0 0.670. Model 5 We kept all the variables of model 4. We have also included zip code in this model. Earlier, we didn't use zip code as it has 70 unique values. Converting 70 dummy variables would have been cumbersome, and models would have been complex. However, due to unsatisfactory results in our previous models, we have decided to include zip code in this one. And voila! The multiple R square has boosted up to 0 0.8869. The adjusted R square is 0 0.8859, and the p value of F76 is very close to 0. Now, let us look at the diagnostic plots. There is no presence of heteroscedasticity in our model. The normality assumption, however, may have been violated. There is no presence of influential points. The explanatory variables are not autocorrelated. We performed Goldfield Quant test. The GQ value is 0 0.9845 with degrees of freedom 4791 and 4791. The p value is 0 0.7. So we accept the null hypothesis. We have checked the GBIF of all the explanatory variables. We can see that log of square foot living has the highest GBIF followed by log of square foot above. Zip code log of square foot lot and log of square foot lot 15 also have high GBIF. We have eliminated log of square foot living, log of square foot lot 15 and log of square foot lot due to multicollinearity. After removing them, we got the following results. And the multiple R square has changed to 0 0.8808, the adjusted R square changed to 0 0.8799 and the p-value still remains very close to 0. Removing those variables did not affect our model much. Let us look at the validation results. The MAP is 0 0.1391. And the RMAC is 1,22,459.4. However, we have noticed an interesting development. This graph shows us the increase of adjusted R squared during forward selection of variables. That is, the first variable include was zip code with an adjusted R squared of 0 0.529. We can see that with the inclusion of the third variable, that is binary square foot basement, our model hits an adjusted R square of 0 0.1866. We have also observed that there is a minimal increase of adjusted R square from this point onwards. So we have decided to leave all the variables beyond this line. Let us look at the suggested model. The response variable is log of price. And these are our explanatory variables. After fitting the linear model, we got the multiple R square as 0 0.8665, the adjusted R square is 0 0.8655, and the p value is close to 0. The multiple R square and adjusted R square got reduced by 0 
but at the cost of eliminating six variables. This makes our model less complex without affecting its efficiency. Let us look at the diagnostic plots. There is no presence of heteroscedasticity in our model. However, the normative assumption may have been violated. There is no presence of influential points. There is no presence of multicollinearity in the model. We have performed GQ test. The GQ value is 0 0.97107 with degrees of freedom 4800 and 4800. The P value is 0 0.8454. So we accept the null hypothesis. Let's look at the validation results. The MATE is 0 0.1494. The RMAC is 1,30,259.9. When we compared the RMAC of suggested model to the RMAC of model 5 using validation data, we have seen that model 5 is slightly better. Similarly, we compared the MAPE of suggested model to the MAPE of model 5. Model 5 gave us slightly better results. We have tested our model using the test data. The results are as follows. Model 5 still has slightly better RMAC. We have also compared the MAPE of the two models. Here also, model 5 shows better results. However, the difference between their results are not high. So we should consider using the suggested model, as it gets rid of six explanatory variables. Conclusion We have seen that zip code explains price to a great extent. Our dataset is based on houses from King County, Washington, and price of the houses in their depends very much on the location. Among area of the house, square foot living, area of the lot, square foot lot, and interior area of house, square foot above, square foot above is the most important parameter. We converted the variable area basement into a binary variable, where zero means absence of basement and one means presence of basement. This transformation helped explaining our target variable more than its original state. Limitations. At times, price of houses might get influenced by the emotions of people. For example, the price of house may get increased in an auction house where two people are bidding more due to their ego. On the other hand, price of house may decrease if the owner is in a hurry to sell the house. We explored and experimented with our data to a great extent. We have created a total of 16 different models before we came to this final result. That's the beauty of statistic. It enables us to experiment a lot with the data. Lastly, we would like to thank Dr. Ganesh Dotto for giving us this wonderful opportunity to explore the topic of linear regression. We are thankful to him for his valuable guidance and support.